San Antoine Gardens. When one mentions the gardens of a head of states on the global stage, perhaps the ones which spring first to mind for many are such as the Rose Gardens of White House in Washington, the Garden of Buckingham Palace, famous for its mulberry tree in the UK. These are delightful examples of the botanical arts but are, alas, close to the public, not so in Malta, where the lovely gardens of San Anton Palace, which is the residence of the Maltese president, are open to all and sundry, seven days a week, including Sunday. Not only are they free to enjoy, but they are also free to enter. Monumental Eagle Fountain, located just inside and to the right of the first archway, was the first attraction which took my breath away. It took something really spectacular to drag me away from it. But then the gardens are full of really spectacular somethings, from the flower beds, multicolored in their spring finery, including bongabilias, rare species of roses, orchids, and etc. etc.
gardens are historical as well as lovely, dating back as they do over 300 years. And then, of course, there is the maze. Even if it is only a hedge-high maze, you, kind viewer, will not be amazed to discover that I almost succeeded in making my way through the confusing twists and turns of this horticultural puzzle, almost but not quite.
The gardens are formally laid out in the classical manner. The straight and narrow pathways facilitate the visitors to stroll around and linger when and where something particularly attractive captures their attention. Then there are the feathered creatures, including black swans, white swans, families of lazy ducks, and a sentry line of preening peacocks.
There is also a magnificent range of imposing trees, including jacarandas, rosewood, Norfolk pines, cypress, palms, and last but not the least, the old man of the forest itself, the national tree of Malta, the carob. Original resident of San Anton Palace, the Grand Master of the Knights, Anton de Paul established a worthy, enduring tradition of commissioning every head of state who visited or stayed in the palace to plant a tree in the garden that explains why so many trees have a tiny plaque attached with the name and date of the planter and the planting. During the summer months, the gardens become venues for outdoor concerts and dramatic performances, especially by Shakespeare. This is my cue to quote my favorite lines from the Void of Avon.
gild refined gold to paint the lily. To throw a perfume on the violet is wasteful and ridiculous access. What disappointment I felt in the maze was soon erased as I finally, and with great reluctance, made my exit from the gardens as I read the last plaque on the wall. For more than the first century of its existence, the gardens of San Anton were closed to the public.
the flag commemorates the opening in 1882 by the then Governor Borton who performed the ceremony in the 45th year of the reign of Queen, yes, Victoria.